Hey everybody and welcome back to Empty Pockets Ironworks. Thank you for joining me again this week. For this week's video we're going to do a continuation of last week's video. The coal shovel that I did with the basket twist and the Rubik's twist and the little uh, handle guard made out of angle iron. We're going to basically do the same thing but we're going to be making a turkey foot fire poker. And with that I'm going to attempt to do a forge weld on the end of it. Now I know amongst a lot of the seasoned blacksmiths and know-it-alls and people that watch videos on YouTube, you can probably do a forge weld in your sleep. However, with my particular setup, it's proven to be very difficult in the past. I run the forge up to about 10 to 11 PSI, when I normally run it at only about 5 PSI. Uh, so I'll run it up to about 10 to 11 PSI, let it uh, soak in there for a little bit, put some borax on it, put it back in, bringing it up to welding temperature, and then attempt to set the weld. Uh, sounds easy enough, but I've only been able to successfully forge weld with this thing a handful of times. It's great when it works, and oftentimes if it doesn't, then we just go over to the MIG. So, this video is going to go one of two ways. Either it's going to have a very pretty forge weld, or there's going to be some grinding involved afterwards after I MIG weld the uh, end of it. So either way, I'm going to cut this short before the dogs start barking because it seems like every time I try to record any audio in here, the neighbor dogs decide to go crazy. And also, the wind today has picked up and with the tree that's above the shop, it drags across the tin and it's rather loud. So. Let's get started. Thank you guys again for all the likes, the comments. I really appreciate it. And uh, remember to share, subscribe if you haven't, and yeah, we'll see you guys next week.